Good afternoon guys, welcome to another video. It's uh, Thursday the 16th of February today. Um, back down the Avon, as you can see over my shoulder here. Back out today because uh, well, the weather's good for it. We've got an overcast sky, as you can see up there. After many, many days of sunshine, frosty nights, we had a bit of rain in the night as well. I don't think enough to go in the river to make a difference, but a milder night and, uh, as I say, some cloud cover for the next couple of days. So my aim is to get out today and for a rather more limited time tomorrow. It's about 12.30 now. So we can fish till it gets dark. So I've got about four hours at it today, which is <laughs> a lot longer than I normally have. So I've come down to this stretch, which uh, is fairly sheltered from the wind because it's blowing a bit today. I think we've gone from high pressure to a fairly low pressure system coming over. And uh, as I say, with a bit of rain to it. And I've come to this shelter stretch, so I fancy doing some trotting. I've got my pouch on full of mashed bread. I'll, uh, I'll link you to a video of how I make this up. I'll make it in a couple of different consistencies. Very easy, obviously, to mash up bread. You just mash it up. <laughs> Well, I'll make it in a couple of different consistencies. I'll make it um, very runny for when I'm trotting. As I like today, it's, it's, it's like porridge, as you can see. It's like very loose. And the idea is it'll break up in the water as it's going down. And when I'm ledgering, when I want to put it in the feeder or get it to the bottom in balls, I'll make it much drier. Anyway, I'll link you into a video up there so you can go and have a look exactly how I make this up, should you wish. But yeah, trotting. I've got stacks of this stuff made up, ready for today and tomorrow. I've done four loaves, which sounds like a lot, but <laughs> it mashes down <laughs> to a lot less than you'd think. And of course, you have to keep continually feeding as well. We'll have a bit of a rove around. We might not have any bites in certain swims. We might, uh, we might bag up and obviously we'll stay until the bites dry off, but I've come to this stretch that I've only fished here once before, I was going to say a few weeks ago, yeah, probably a few weeks, a month or so ago. And, and a bit of an explore that day and had a cracking session. Caught five chub here in a couple of hours. So I'm hoping we can replicate that today. Just, as you can see, I'm just stood here talking to you and trickling a bit of feed in as we, as we stood here. But, uh, I am keen to get going. So I'm going to set me, I set my rod up, run you through the gear and then we'll, uh, We'll have a go. Now I did fish this room about a month ago, as I say, for about the first time, and I was set about six or seven foot deep, I think around about six foot, something like that. So we'll set that again. I've got a Drake alloy stem stick float on here. Could probably use a waggler here, to be honest, but I do like using a stick float, being attached top and bottom. It's perhaps a little bit heavy for this as well, but we are gonna fish a big lump of bread flake. That's the plan. I've got my standard trotting setup, my our tournament pro 15 foot rod wonderful rod for trotting absolutely love this very soft in the tip but got plenty of backbone as well i've got dower 125m close face reel on there do love a close face reel for trotting makes the job very easy now if you're interested in a little bit looking into how i set this up in a little bit more detail again i'll link you in up there you can go and have a look at a video i ran through this setup in detail but uh, hopefully you'll stick around for this video first. And um, hopefully we can have a few, a few nice chub out. Chub really the targets today. I don't want to catch some nice roach as well. Doesn't usually happen with the size of the bread flake I put on. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I say I've been out for quite a while. It's been, I think, best part of a week since I've been out. Right, I'm going to grab my towel because this is a messy business. <laughs> and we'll get cracking. Now I'm wading out on a sort of beachy area here. I did think about putting my waders on, to be honest, but it's the only swim that I know of. I've never, I haven't had a proper explore down that way, but it's the only swim that I know of that I might need them. So that's where I've sort of stuck to my well is, but it does get very deep very quickly. I'd probably only get out about another four foot or so, perhaps even in my chest is perhaps three foot. So I think we'll be all right here. Right, first run through. <laughs> the anticipation. And I say hopefully we can can have a few nice chub out. 
Now, I seem to remember from last time, I was interested in this cover over here, and I was actually hooking them down there in the middle of the river. So, <laughs> we'll see what happens. I always forget to set my landing up, but I have done today. <laughs> quite a leisurely pace to the water down here it hasn't really rained for a couple of weeks or three weeks since I last came the Avon is clearing it's very clear we may struggle today but I thought that last time and we didn't I will see there's a lovely long run down here I can run as long as I want really as far as I want Certainly 40, 50 metres with ease. And because this mashed bread is uh, is very sloppy, it's not really sinking too quickly. So it will be going off quite a long way downstream. Respawned with line as well. Been promising to, <laughs> to put some new line on this reel. Been promising the reel. <laughs> and I finally got round to it. And it's... <laughs> so much nicer to trot with <laughs> it's just peeling off the line beautifully off, off the, the line it's peeling off the reel beautifully right that's a good seven foot now let's see how that goes I say it might be this might be hard going for a while chub are all tucked under this cover which they quite possibly are Right now it's starting to drag a little bit. I'll just shallow up a bit again, I think. That's just trundling through, and that'll be the uh, the Olivette trundling on the bottom as well. But that's just trundling through. Yeah, that's just dragged under now. Right, I'll just shallow up, perhaps six inches, and we've got our depth. Right, time for a move, I think. Nothing going on there. Got itchy feet, so uh, let's go for a wander. Right, time for a go, I think can't resist any longer been feeding for five minutes of course we'll keep feeding and feeding just hoping as I say the slightly darkened nature of this area this little run will have them a bit less reluctant to come out as they seem to be downstream I think whatever happens we'll we'll have a few later the challenge is to have a few before about three o'clock <laughs> That's the real challenge. That's probably a little bit conceited, thinking we're definitely going to get some. But uh, I'm pretty sure they'll switch on as it starts to get dark. Oh, there we go, we're dragging under already, look. Blimey, shallower than that. Doesn't mean the water's moving faster though, which is nice. That's a little bit of pace on the water. Right, try again. God, we're only about four and a half foot to that Olivet now, five foot perhaps. Because that flake's so buoyant, it is the Olivet that tends to, to drag the bottom rather than the actual bait itself. Plus, of course, having the hook buried in the flake means that's not going to drag on the bottom either. We're still knocking on the bottom. I think there must be some boulders and stuff in this corner. I remember this from last time now. That's it. We've got past them now, I think. It's still dragging a little bit. Yeah, just dragging under them, popping back up the float. We're clearly just tripping bottom. 
It is strange that this river is like this. Rivers, I know, quite often have their own character. But, you know, you can, you can go to the Y and fish in the summer. It's crystal clear. You can have bites all day. When the sun's out, <laughs> this river, as soon as it's clear, they're not interested. Very, seem very sensitive to the, to the light levels in here. And obviously that's counteracted by either the colour or the cloud. Preferably both. Must be just too bright today. We haven't got particularly thick cloud cover. It's fairly bright. A fairly clear river. It's certainly doing us no favours at the moment. Five minutes then we'll have another move. I'm sure the videos sometimes give the impression that just turn up at the river and bag up all the time, but it's really not the case. I do kind of take pride in picking the conditions. I did realise that these were a little bit 50-50. It would either be okay or it wouldn't. <laughs> Clearly, it's the latter. Oh, we just need some, some rain. I say we had a little bit last night, but it was only a little bit. Certainly none of it's got in the river. Or perhaps it has. They've been gritting the roads for days. Perhaps it has got in the river a little bit and that's what's done for the fishing. All that grit and salt washed off the roads, down the drains in the river. You never know. Well, guys, <laughs> if things weren't bad enough, the sun's now out. <laughs> the clouds have cleared, pretty much. Although it is starting to go down, so... <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> we're having one of those days today. Never mind, we're approaching the best time of day. But uh, the way this is at the moment, I'm not sure even that's going to do any good. But uh, you never know. We're here, we might as well stick it out for another hour. We're now at sort of two and a half, three hours now. I don't think I've had a bite, not a proper bite. Not a bite, I'm sure that it was a bite. I think we'll give it perhaps, we'll have another 10 or 15 minutes here and then we'll have a little move because there's, again, there's no point in thrashing this swim. They're clearly not here or not interested. We're going to have a wander off downstream where hopefully this mashed bread that I've been throwing in has been going. Have a little bit of an explore, see what we can find. But yeah, I think uh, this sun has really done for us now. Certainly for the next, I don't know, half an hour or so. I think we'll we'll finish up in here I think it's the plan at the moment anyway this is a swim I fished two weeks or so ago I had three chub out as it was getting dark or as dusk was approaching although that a big sunny thing wasn't in the sky that day <laughs> Without wishing to labour a point, this this river can be impossible, impossible, till it gets dark when it's when it's like this, when it's this clear. Just hoping we can tempt a few out. Just as that sun 
gets towards the horizon. I'm not convinced it's not just that though, to be honest. It may be, but I think there may be other factors at play a little bit. For some reason they just don't seem on it today. Never mind, we're approaching the best time of the day and uh, I was going to say it'll only get better from now on, but it can only get better. <laughs> we ain't even had a bite yet. <laughs> Couldn't get any worse. Unless we get a welly full of uh, river. Can you believe it? I'm just struck. Right at the bottom of the run. I'm not sure what we're into. Feeling a bit like a snag, actually. <laughs> Very strange. It's sort of pulling back, sort of not. This is very bizarre. I think we're into a fish. This is a very strange fight. Right down the bottom of the run. The float went under. And I struck and it's just solid. But wherever it is, it's come right upstream. And it's definitely a fish. I felt a thump. God, that was a long way down. What a strange fight. Oh, I was trying to get the trees over there. <laughs> I could just see my float. <laughs> this side of the trees. God. What a strange, strange fight. What on earth is this? I assume it's a chubber that's going for the trees. But I don't feel particularly big. It's just such a weird fight. It is a chub. Well, we've had to wait. So the last knockings, I was actually, that run through, I was actually thinking, I'm going to have one more run through and I'm going to go. Because we have waited a long old time for that fight. And it was a long way down that swim as well. It's not a bad fish though. First glance. Oh, it's not a bad one. Yeah, it was very weird all that way down. Just went solid. Almost like he was snagged up. Well, we pulled the rabbit out of the hat. God, he's a nice fish as well. We pulled the rabbit out of the hat. <laughs> Last knockings. Covered in reeds. That's why that was why it was a funny, funny fight because he's uh, he was in the reeds when we hooked him. Go. He's only just nicked in there as well. There we go. All right, that's all. Let's have a look at him. He's a decent fish. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. That's cracking. What a beauty. Absolute beauty. As I thought, <laughs> it's got to get dark. <laughs> oh, this river. Right. Well, we'll keep going as long as we can, I think. But I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> we'll, have, we'll have a bit longer, but yeah, very happy with that cracking so guys we'll get this fella back i'll just put it on the scales just out of interest just make sure my i've still got my eye in I'm not far off 312 lovely fish cracking but uh back you go wonderful blank saver <laughs> fantastic well there's just about enough light left in the sky to 
to pack up and go without needing a head torch but uh, it's uh, starting to get dark certainly this pheasant up here is telling me off it's <laughs> just coming to roost and I'm disturbing him so I'll take the hint and go home but all there's left to do is say thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed that tight lines enjoy your own angling many thanks to the channel patrons for your fantastic support and a uh, bit of news on that front we have a new patron on board a chap called Paul so thank you for signing up Paul and as I say thank you to all the existing patrons for your continued support tight lines when you get out there hope you do a bit of a better job than I did today but we've not blanked we've had a nice fish in the end so uh, I'm very happy with that and I'll see you all again very soon